We are about to do something we have never, ever, ever done before. The kids are gonna freak out when they get in here. Whoa! <laughs> We have arrived, and where are we at, Cora? Alaska. Alaska. I can take this off because we are outside, and we are about to do something we have never, ever, ever done before. We're going to be living in an RV, not just for a day, not just for 24 hours. We're gonna show you what 24 to 72 hours looks like in our RV. The kids have never been in an RV. Look at these things. We've actually wanted to purchase one for a while, but we are going to be cruising throughout the state of Alaska, and we're gonna surprise the kids because, well, they know why we're here, but they've never been in an RV and they're so excited. We get to like live in this thing, we get to explore, but I am a little worried because even though it can sleep all of us, it might be a tight space. Okay, but we've walked around and we've looked at many of the RVs and this is our RV. They all have very similar layouts, but I'm really, really excited because cruiseamerica.com hooked us up What's up? They are letting us take this RV all throughout Alaska while our time is here. So I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of what it looks like before we show the kids. And we brought a ton of gear, so that's a good storage. You could fit like so much in there. Oh man, I'm so excited. The kids are gonna freak out when they get in here. Yo, Toa Squad, get your backpacks and come cruise into this thing. Oh, Wyatt's even got fishing rods. Everybody's ready to go. All right, come on in, guys. Whoa, look up there. Whoa. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got the top bunk. I want what? the top oh, bunk. Wait, I'm so... All right, you guys oh, want no a tour? Way. You guys want a tour of this place? Here is the couch where people are gonna sit. Go ahead and pop your bags there for now. Why you guys do that? Get them up there. Okay, Wyatt, show us where you're gonna sleep. I'm sleeping here with the table right by me. Oh, look, we left our dog out there. Aww. What should we name our puppy? Mono. This table will actually fold down and both Shay yeah. and Wyatt can fit right yeah. there. You guys excited about that? Yeah. Okay. My bed and Evie's the That's right, okay. All right, what's over here, Clay? Our kitchen, and look, it's a fancy type of It's got a pot. stove. And a sink, a big sink. We've also got some cupboards, and a, a microwave, and a fridge. Oh my, it's cold. Wow, that's a good sized fridge for an RV. I actually have no idea what this is. Let's see what's in here. Open the door. Oh, that's a shower. Oh, awesome. And yeah, when yes. I stand up here, I'm almost as tall Rachel, as the door. get in, let's see how big you are inside the shower. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh snap. Look, Raquel, it will still fit you. That's impressive. <laughs> What's this other door, Raquel? Dun, 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 dun. Bathroom. There's the toilet, the sink. The bed. More mom With. and dad sleep. <laughs> Cabinetry. Okay. We're gonna get comfortable and then we're gonna show you how we're gonna live in the RV for more than 72 hours. What is really, really cool is because we flew here, we didn't have any pillows or things that we could bring, linens and towels. So you can actually like um, rent a necessity kit, I think it or is an essential kit. And so we got a sleeping bag, we got pillows, we got some sheets, we got um, towels, lots of towels. So, that was awesome because they hooked us up with that because we're gonna need all that and I don't have to buy it, which is really great. All right, here we are, we are leaving. Dad, is this crazy? This is the largest vehicle I've ever driven. The last time I drove something this big, it was not this big and it was a moving truck. This is crazy. This is crazy, I feel like small but big. All right, we have done our first little trip of five minutes in the RV, but. It was 10. <laughs> it was 10, because dad messed, we had to turn it around. <laughs> oh look, what should we name our puppy? Um, Winker. Winky. Philo. Philo. I don't know what Philo yeah. means, but Philo. Philo. I just realized we don't have snacks in the RV. We don't have some basic like extra things, maybe some entertainment. Knives. We do have like butter knives, but we don't have like pocket knives. 
All right, so we're going to do a little bit of a shopping challenge real fast to start our RV um, adventure off right. All right, we spent a long time in Fred Meyer and we spent over $900 in food, but hopefully this will last us two weeks. It will be that great. less than $100 a day. I'm just saying, I don't think that's horrible for not being at home. That's absolutely right, because we there's not like a lot of restaurants or places to go out to eat, so we're gonna be eating in the RV. So, our very first meal, we got some food from Fred Meyer. What did everyone get, Evie? Mac and cheese. And Pizza. Pizza. Chicken tenders and potato wedges. The okay. spiciest thing I've ever had. Burritos. Woo! to microwave this? Uh, no, let me pull that out. Oh, okay, because I was about to microwave this. Uh-oh. Clay got a lasagna I microwave. I got lasagna. Meal. And Dad, what are you eating? Half a chicken. Okay. Our first meal in the RV, guys. How are we feeling? Hot. Hot? Is it hot? Good. We'll open the windows and get going. Our first destination is going to be what, Dad? And I want to say, oh. Anna and Ben came over here in the parking lot. We're like, oh my gosh, we're so excited to see you guys. So shout out to Anna and Ben. We love meeting our fans. You guys are fantastic. Alaska. Yep. And then we are going to the Kenai River right now. What? what? You guys fish? ready to fish? No, fish yeah. This is going to be really, really fun. We're going to be showing you guys adventures crazy things we do in the RV, but also we are going to be filming a last to leave the RV where we have to put ourselves somewhere and we're not allowed to even leave the RV. We're going to shower, we're going to go to the bathroom in the RV, and guess what? It's going to torture some of the guys and the gals because they want to leave and go fishing, but guess what? It doesn't matter. We're going to stick ourselves in that, so make sure you guys keep watching because that video will be coming up soon after this one. drive a house truck. What are you up to, Coco Bean? Building a Lego. Oh, when did you get this Lego set? Um, a while ago. Oh, you sleeping. Shay is in awe and just loving. Yeah, looking out there. Why is it creeping on people that are behind us through our rear view with his binoculars? Oh, what's up? What's up? This is the finest face mask stuff in the world. We better wow. use it in good Dad. use. Okay, clean yourself up. Raquel. Raquel going all in. Here's the <laughs> and Evie being very worried about cleanliness. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, now you've jumped in one of those! Mom survived. I did. I went to the bathroom on a bumpy boat. I survived. Okay, good morning, everybody. It got cold last night. Oh my gosh, in the middle of the night, I had to put a blanket on. It is... Not super cold, but when you're out in a camper, that's not, I mean, it's insulated, but not crazy insulated. It's, fi it's 54 degrees right now. We are eating breakfast. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, we made some oatmeal on our new little stove. We, guess we heated up some water. I made oatmeal. Where is everybody else? They're fishing. Fishing. Where are the sleepers? Up, and I saw them, and then I couldn't open the- I was too cold to go with them. Door. 
and they were like, no, go back to bed, go back to bed, you're not supposed to see us, go back to bed. And all right, so they snuck out. I don't, I don't even know what time it is, but they snuck out early, took all the fishing gear and went into check out fishing the spot. So we are eating breakfast, we're gonna be playing phase 10, and then we're gonna go explore and see if we can see what is outside and find animals. Animals? Animals. 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 Yeah. Animals. Okay, so we are stuck in the, in the RV, but we are going to leave now, and we are going to go to the bathroom outside. I mean, like, in the, in the like, toilets at the place that we're staying here. So, we gotta figure out how to get out. How to get out. Okay, Cora, let's open the door. Let's see if this works again. Uh-oh, Clay, help her out. I can't. How, how do you do it? You gotta pull up and push. Pull up, the handle up. Ugh. Are we locked? Apparently we are locked inside the RV. Let's go out that way. We can't go out that way. Maybe we unlock the door. It's locked. Let's unlock it. Try that now. I don't know if that does anything. I don't know, just try it. Lift up. No. No, we are still locked in. Okay, we are going and climbing out the front door. Okay, we made it to the Russian River. We're on the Kenai. Look at this, there's our RV. And look how beautiful it is. Well, this is definitely one thing I never missed about like camping or Alaska. I'm going to bath the bathrooms. Jeez, it actually doesn't smell bad. That one does not. <laughs> She's just doing that for fun. Um, well, um, look at what's right next to us. This beautiful world. Got some flowers. I don't exactly want to touch it just in case it's poisonous, but this has been fun. Never going back in those woods again. That feels good though, but when you look in it, it feels like it looks just like a pile. Hopefully, somebody finds us soon. Like Hopefully. Dad. Hopefully. We're gonna go on a on a on a hike. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Here in Alaska, these are bear proof trash cans. So you have to push the hand like there's a button that pushes. And then you can lift it or else guess what? The bears will tear apart your trash cans. We found the fishermen. How long have you guys been out fishing? Five. Five. Well, 5.40 is when we started building the rods, but it took us an hour of rod building. So I don't know what time it is. We got some funky hair. Yeah? Yeah. We had a bear come and twice. take fish from us, not from us, but right behind us twice. And a yeah. seagull that was partly... Two eagles by eating eagles. a seagull. Wow. Yeah. All right, we got the fishers, fishermen back, and we are cold, but we're going to go on a hike. And there is a waterfall hike not too far from us, so... We have packed our lunch and we are ready to hike. What did you say? We will see, hopefully, salmon jumping up the waterfalls. Very cool. Ooh. And we could catch one. And then, like, someone has a knife and cut Wait, it. Does that mean there might be bears? Yeah. That's why I have this. Oh. So you can stab yeah. it. Yes. So, living in the RV has not been too bad. It's cold here in Alaska, but. With enough of our body heat in the RV, we're good. I have filled our bag just here on this little table. I have made um, peanut butter and jellies, and we have fruit. Um, we put all of the food that we got from shopping up in these cupboards. We are totally full. We've got lots of like mac and cheese, lots of pasta, lots of chips, got a lot of food. So we're gonna go hike, we're gonna have our lunch, we're gonna come back, warm up, and maybe have some like dinner on this stove. All right, we are dressed. Look at all of these buffs. Coconut cafe. Got our snacks, our bags. We're ready to go hiking into the tundra. We hiked and we hiked, then we turned around. And then we hiked and we hiked some more and we made it to the Powerline concert. The destiny or destination? 
destination. Yes, look at that tree. Now we Kids are exploring. Now we're going to have a nice seated. Right here, Mom. I made you a chair right there. Right oh. there. Ugh. Right there. Oh, gosh. That's the ticket. <laughs> How soft was that? That was very soft as the critters crawl up my bum. Okay, it's time for lunch. Oh, look, there's a log right there where you go sit on that one. This is so starting soft, to rain. Though. So let's eat quick. We're gonna eat quick. Not get rained on, hopefully. Oh, and boy. if we ever come here, we know that this is our destination. She has established. It's like our flag. Went on our hike. It was not all the way to the waterfalls. That's okay. We had our lunch. We are back now. Clay. Clay, where'd she go? How was the hike? It was great. Strenuous? Yep. You made it? Yep. We are surviving. Um, Look at Evie. Whittling her stick. Does she know how close her thumb is to that knife? Dad, what are you doing, Clay? I am preparing a workout because I our like five-mile hike was not good enough. Nope, <laughs> I didn't feel the burn in my body. Yeah, I did. So I, did. I need to feel burned and like. Uh, he and Clay jogged half the whole thing. Nope, yep. two thirds. And Evie is stretching out. Mm -hmm. Our life in an RV is not so glamorous, but we do have a pot and another kettle, and we are going to heat up. We are making mac and cheese, which is everyone's favorite dish right now. Yeah, right now. I think when you are so hungry and you're camping, you'll eat anything, but we're also making some mashed potatoes. Kids are going to like that. We do have some fruit and vegetables um, that we're gonna have with dinner. So, Dad is finishing up fishing. Hopefully he'll bring home more than one salmon. He caught one so far today. Hopefully more. What's Raquel doing? Jeez, it's... She's tidying herself over because she's so hangry. That girl is... Are you hangry, Raquel? Mm -hmm. She knows it. It's okay, we're all hangry because we worked really hard. We hiked for five hours, guys. Dinner's going, Raquel is on top of that mashed potato. And it's only gonna be mine. Uh, no. Battle for dinner is on. We are starving. Starving. Oh, so good. I want the smell. We're also gonna have some chips and salsa too. It's bouncing. Why is it bouncing? <laughs> oh, Clay's working out. <laughs> it is cleanup time. What is Raquel doing to help? I have taken off all the food, off all the dishes. Good work. What is Wyatt done? Huh? He dishes. has moved the two dishes. No, that's not. Nice. What is Shay done? Um, I've taken out the garbage and so. tried all the dishes. What has Evie done? I have made the beds in there and put stuff that that right here that I check here. things off on. Oh. All right, Dad just left to take Raquel and Shay to some more fishing. It is almost 11 at night. It is past 11. Okay, it's 11, but it is still light outside. Look, let's look outside for a second. Look at that. It's like, it looks like eight or nine back where we live, but it is like 11. Evie and Cora showered, all nice and clean. Was it cold? Warm. Was it warm? It was really good. Play. We're going to be watching Tangled. Mm -hmm. It's already passed out. I don't know if we're going to watch a whole video because it's pretty late, guys. But we'll watch some. All right, let's hit it. Okay, it is bedtime. It is midnight. The kids actually went to bed a little bit earlier, except for the teens. So I'm going to give you a little sneak, a little peek of everybody in their beds. So the dining table folds down to bed. So this was great. We have Shay, I mean Wyatt and Evie. Then we have this couch that folds down. We have Shay over there, right? Girls gonna sleep here. And then up top, can't really see much. It's so dark. See, right? Really bad. There's clay, and then there's a corner over there. Just did laundry. So we get back, we fold it all the laundry in the little laundry place, and we'll put them in the luggages in the morning. It's really late, and I am 